Where's the world in bus? Oh my god! Oh my god! Damn man! It's the inbox. Let's do this. First question. The eater of alligator fists? That's very unhealthy. That'll make you have stomach cramps. Like nobody's business except for. I've been wondering whether I should get a new NVIDIA GTX 560 or the AMD Radeon 6870. It seems every year I jump ship from one company to another. I'm not which one to go with. He's not which one to go with. Uh, which one do you think would give me the best price to performance ratio? The GTX 560 is usually that much um, faster. Like, like that, like two frames per second faster on a lot of games. 6870 may be a couple frames faster here and there. And it's kind of strange, but the 5870 is also really fast. It's like right up there with these cards. So if you can find one of those um, and it's less expensive than the 560 uh, or the 6870, then go ahead and pick up the 5870. May as well. Everyone's doing it. If not, I mean, really, those cards are all so similar. Um, you, you can really just grab anyone that's, uh, you know, priced right. Next question is from Joe. Hey, Logan. I've got two HD 6850s in Crossfire, but each card only runs at 8x instead of 16x. Some people say that you will hardly notice a difference between 16 and 8x. But others say that there's up to 10% performance decrease. How much uh, performance is really lost, and is it worth a small upgrade to a motherboard that supports 16 by 16 uh, crossfire? What a dilemma. Well, running two cards, both at 8x uh, as opposed to 16x, you really don't see much difference, 10% at the most. Some of the newer cards, you might see a little bit bigger of a performance delta, but not so much with uh, the older cards especially. Now, is it going to justify buying a new motherboard? Not really. I would not buy a new motherboard for this. I just wait till you know you build your next rig, or you know maybe the next time you decide to upgrade to an Uber graphics card or two Uber graphics cards that are really going to take advantage of the 16x a little more. But it's not that big a deal, dude. It's like one of the last things that I would uh, worry about. Next question is from Fragman, who spells his name with fours instead of a's because four means a. I admit I don't know much about computer hardware anymore. Are the six core CPUs worth it for the price? Yes and no. The Intel CPUs are freaking expensive. They're really fast, but they're like eight, nine, nine or ten hundred dollars. Do you want to pay ten hundred dollars? God no. God no. God no. God no. Niet. Niet. Nils. What's the German? Uh, nine. Nine. Yeah. Nunca. More or something? No! Whoa. What? Hebrew? Do I have to like cough when I say it? However, the AMD 6 core CPUs are priced right. I'm talking like 260 bucks for the 1100T, 230 bucks for the 1090T, and those are freaking fast. Uh, not only that, they're also going to get faster because a lot of programs and applications, programs and applications, both. Uh, are not written Maybe to. it was inclusive or not exclusive or. Or? Why'd you end that sentence with the word or? Continue. My brain is fried because of the use of the word or. Um, those are really fast and they're really good for the money and they're going to get faster with a lot of applications. They're already extremely fast with um, productivity software, you know, image editing and video editing and also uh, uh, rendering and that sort of thing. Pretty fast for games too. They're really good for the money. I would definitely pick up a, an AMD 6 core of CPU. Next question is from Caleb. Dear Logano. The hell is Logano? I have recently switched to a pure Linux system, purging the dreadful Windows OS from my hard drive. Yes, it can be dreadful, especially compared to Linux. After spending a few days with it, uh, I enjoyed it enough to not switch back. What are some AAA grade applications that I should install to better enhance my experience? Don't include some of the obvious like Lion Gimp, uh, Docs, or Themes. Caleb. Caleb! Software that I recommend. Uh, Sinalera. It is an excellent, and I mean amazing, video editing application. I would say it is on par with Adobe Pro Premiere, yes. Though Logan would argue with me. But it's really an excellent application. Also pick up the LMMS, which is a 
Uh, it's kind of got Fruity Loops. Um, it's a Linux free, open source, Fruity Loops kind of look alike, wannabe. It's really, really good. It's most of our, all of our wonderful music is made on uh, MMS. Also, a VLC Media Player picks up, pick that one. Um, what else do I have? What else do I got? XMMS2 is a really great uh, audio player. Always pick up Google Chrome, Firefox, all that kind of jazz. Opera, Mozilla Thunderbird, you know, the usual stuff. Um, SFL Phone VoIP Client is also a good one. I like to use that when I'm... I hate Skype. There's actually two DOS simulators. You've got DOS MU and you've got DOSBox. DOSBox, hands down, works a hell of a lot better. And be very familiar with the terminal. It's your friend. It helps you do anything. Otherwise, I mean, it all depends on what uh, what distro you're using. If you're using Ubuntu, you want to get it. Just just browse browse through the browse through the Synaptic Package Manager because there's a lot of stuff in there. I pick up Darktable, which is a really it's nice. It's not quite as nice as uh, Lightroom, but I would pick it up. It's great for pictures and photos and in the background. I guess the real question I have for you is. You say grade A applications, but what are you trying to do? I mean, like I said, I've mentioned graphics and you know, video editing and, and audio. Um, beyond that, it's really what do you want to do? Because I will have a different answer depending on that is. So, so forum. Check the forum, ask it in there, and we will we'll get on that. Also, join us in the chat room. The, the uh, IRC channel is still up and running. Um, you can find that on the on the forums and, and the, on the website as well. So, join us, raisetheworld.com. Sign up. And subscribe, comment, rate us, and we will see you next time here at Raise the World. Or we may have to come to your house and do very bad things to your animals.